Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And today I played with some new old makeup, aka makeup I got at Marshalls and TJ Maxx and I used them on my face. So you'll have to let me know if this is stuff that you own, if it reminds you that you own it and that you wanna reach for it again. If you have had it and you didn't like it, let me know in the comments. Just let me know whatever you want me to know in the comments. I know it's a weird time right now, but I figured if I was gonna play with some new makeup, I could play with some makeup that maybe you guys already have in your collection. Maybe you have bought it when it first came out. Maybe you did also find it at TJ Maxx Marshalls. Just a little inspiration. I'm wearing it on my face right now. You'll get to see it throughout this video. Let me know if there is anything you guys have been wanting to see on the channel during this very weird time. I will let you know, as I'm filming this video, it is March 22nd, so I know as the days go, nothing is really the same, so I just know what it is like right now, and I know I'm pre-filming right now, so. I just hope everyone is doing well and it's fine and I will keep trying to put out as much content for you guys as I can because I know I'm stuck at home. I'm watching a lot more than I normally do so I'm guessing you guys are too. So if you guys want to see me trying on some new old makeup then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay so today I'm going to play with a foundation I've never used before. So I already primed my face with the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. I got this in my BoxyCharm in February and I actually have really been enjoying it. So that's what's on my face right now. So I did get this at Marshall's. This one was $9.99. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro 24 hour performance wear liquid foundation with broad spectrum SPF 20. I have never used a non-powder foundation from Bare Minerals. So you guys will have to let me know if you've ever used one before. This is in the shade Porcelain 05. So I'm guessing it's gonna work but we'll, we'll see. Natural matte finish, good for skin, transfer resistant, flashback proof, oil free. Mm, I guess we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's try this out and have some fun with makeup together. Okay, so I'm going to dot it on with my Real Technique sponge, then go in with a brush. I need to really, really, really wash my brushes. So that's something that's gonna get done this week. So this is one of those brushes we got from BoxyCharm. I'm gonna try to use this to do this. I was wondering what type of coverage this foundation would give, so I guess we're gonna find out. You'll have to let me know if you have a favorite Bare Minerals foundation. I, like I said, I've only used the powder. I used, to pow I used the powder all through college but I used to always mix it with like a CoverGirl liquid foundation. I never really wore it on its own. Okay, that's one layer, and I would say that gives light medium coverage right off the bat. So I'll go in with another layer and see if it builds up. Oh yeah, it looks like it's building up to more of a medium coverage. So now I'm just gonna go in with my Beauty Blender, well, Real Technique sponge. Make sure to push it all in. I definitely like think this matches my hands, but it doesn't match my neck. My neck is darker than my face, but my hands are lighter than everything. So I really never know what shade to use, but this is probably lighter than I would prefer. And I would most likely need to mix this in with something else, which I don't mind doing at all. That's fine. Yeah, I think that gave a good medium coverage, which I can do. I can handle that. Perfect. And I know it says it's a natural matte, so I'm wondering if it's going to kind of look like the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear, so. That's just the foundation. Lately, I've been testing out the Becca Under Eye Corrector, and I can't really tell if I notice a difference through using this. But I also recently picked up from Marshalls the anti-puffiness under eye primer and this is $7.99. I did get this at Ulta for full price. <laughs> but I want to try one on each eye and see if I can tell a difference. That sounds fun, right? Experimenting, science, fun, why not? Gonna go in with the under eye corrector on this side and I do think it brightens but I don't know if I can tell a difference once I put my concealer on. Like if I put it on one eye and not the other eye, I can't really tell a difference. Definitely without concealer I think it makes a difference but I'm not very often not wearing concealer and just wearing an under eye corrector, so. Let me know how you guys use this product, if I'm like doing it wrong, because that wouldn't be the first time I did something wrong. 
All right, so here is the under eye corrector. It's like this little green thing. And it says to apply before concealer. It definitely has like a cooling feeling. I don't know. We'll find out. All right. I figure a lot of the times when I film these type of videos, I will fast forward through the non new makeup portions, but if it is relaxing to you, I can tell you what I'm doing and you can just hang out with me while I do the next steps of my makeup before I get to the next new product. So I'm gonna go in with my Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. I took out the stopper and this thing is almost empty. I think this is like the third one of these I've, on, I've gone through, maybe fourth. I do have this in the shade, I think it's the lightest shade they have and it's definitely darker than this, than this foundation, which was something I was concerned might happen. Oh dear. So this foundation shade, I have to be more careful when I pick a concealer. All right. Yeah, that like awkwardly darkened up where I put the concealer. Oh well, not like I'm going anywhere. I can tell that the foundation has like settled, but it's not like fully mattifying and it's still tacky. So I prefer that when it comes to mattifying foundation. So actually I think I mean, obviously we look very flat right now because we don't have any definition, but the actual like base, I think looks nice. I wasn't sure what to think, especially because sometimes when you see like foundations at TJ Maxx, you kind of assume it's because like they weren't good and they got like cut, <laughs> but no, I think this looks nice. Okay, now I'm gonna set the face. Under my eyes, I'm gonna use the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. The Catrice concealer definitely creases fairly quickly on me, so I gotta tap it out. I'm gonna use this BH Cosmetics number four brush and set around the eyes. If I look up close, hold on, let me grab my mirror. I seriously can tell no difference between my two under eyes, none at all. So that's interesting. So for the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with my Physician's Formula Healthy Powder. This one doesn't really disturb the actual like wear of the foundation and it makes me able to, you know, blend bronzer and such over top of it without, you know, altering it, so there we go. And this is the Ofra number eight brush. For brows, I'm going in with my LA Girl Shitty Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. This is one of my, I shouldn't say one of mine. This is my favorite drugstore brow pencil. And then I'm setting it with the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. And then for eyeliner, I'm going in with the ColourPop Creme Gel Eyeliner in the shade Get Paid. Okay, now we can play with more new old makeup. So this was $24.99 at Marshalls and this is the MAC Shiny Pretty Things Face Compact in Fair. So you open it and it looks like this. So it has a extra dimension skin finish in string lights, a extra dimension blush in sweater weather, and an extra dimension bronzer in five alarm kiss. I don't know if those are permanent colors. I've never, I've only tried, I've never tried a bronzer from MAC. I have a baked blush and I have a highlighter palette. So let's see how this works. So for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with this Marc Jacobs, the face one brush. I don't actually think this is a bronzer brush, but we'll see how it works. It technically goes with the theme. I did get this brush at Marshall's. Interesting. It's definitely, I mean, this is definitely a bronzer for fair skin. It's taking a lot of building up for me to work with. It's almost more like a baked formula. So I'm kind of finding that I'm like digging in to really get the product, but I actually can appreciate a not super pigmented bronzer because as somebody who once feared bronzer, this is kind of what I was once looking for it was something that I could more easily build up. Okay, I like that. Going in with another brush that I got at TJ Maxx. This is the Japanesque blush brush, I guess. It's the 961 brush. Gonna go in with our blush. It's so pretty. And then for highlight, I'm gonna go in with this BH Cosmetics 140 brush. That's a pretty color. The highlighting palette I have from MAC, it's probably not the best 
shade match for me, so this one works a lot better, I feel like, for my skin tone. Okay. I'm digging it. Now for a eyeshadow palette that's new to me, this is the the CoverGirl True Naked Sunsets palette. This was $2.99, and I used to have the chocolate one of these, but I always felt like the colors were all the same kind of dark chocolatey shade, and I like that this one seems to actually like have all the shades be a different shade, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to just do a very simple look. You'll have to let me know if you own this palette. I'm gonna start with the lightest shade here. What you think of it. I, again, I don't understand why CoverGirl is getting rid of this line because I think this is some of the best stuff they've had in a while. I think this eyeshadow is so good. I remember loving the chocolate palette just it wasn't necessarily a color store I was reaching for often. And especially when I saw this one being available, I was like, yep, let's do that. So right now I'm actually just mixing the first and last color, blending them together. I wanna go in with this shade here. Put that on the lid. It's very smooth. And I'm going to go in with, oh, so before I was using a Moda crease brush, now I'm going to go in with the Farah Mini Tapered Blending Brush. I'm going to blend some more here. Then I'm going to add a little bit of this brown shade right out here. Add some extra dimension. Then I'm going to go in with this second shade here. It's like this really pretty shimmery. Pop it right on the inner third of the eyelid. Wow, that's beautiful. Now I'm going to go in with a mixture of the first and last shades under the lower lash line. And this is a Moda detail brush. Just go under here. I want to take, this is a Moda brow brush from their pastel collection. I want to take like the purpley shade and kind of run it along the upper lash line here. So sometimes when I feel like I've blended too high, I just take whatever translucent powder I was using and I just buff out the edges. So this is the AOA Studio E126 brush. Yeah, I try to be careful with warm tones because sometimes they can make me look a little sickly. So there's that. Now I'm going to set my makeup with the NYX Dewy Finish Spray. I'm gonna pop on some mascara. This is the La Mercier Caviar Volume Mascara. Okay, this is like the first time I've ever used this mascara and not gotten it on my face, so that's a really big deal. Go me. Okay, the last product I got at Marshalls is the NARS Lip Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Xenon. This was $7.99. I've heard a lot of people talking about this formula. Mm, this shade does not go with this eye color, so that's fun. This is like a cool tone. Ooh. Hmm, it's so like buttery feeling. Lip glide it is. Wow. Didn't know how great that was gonna feel on my lips, but that felt great on my lips. <laughs> so that is the stuff. So we tried the foundation today, which I think looks really good. Like I actually like the finish of it and it's supposed to be a 24 hour wear. So I'll definitely get back to you guys and let you know how it wears. But so far that's probably like maybe the standout product of this whole video. I really do like the MAC palette. I will say it is definitely for the fairest of fair when it says it's of the fair palette. I would not uh, grab this if you were not fair, for sure. Not sure yet if it was the $25 worth. I'll let you guys know. The under eye primer, I don't know. I think my under eyes look exactly the same right now, so I can't tell the difference between the Becca products. Sue me. I like the eyeshadow palette. I think the look turned out really nice. For $2.99, you can't really beat that. And this lip, this lippy. It literally feels like a lip balm. Like it feels like I put a lip balm on my lips. It's so strange. It's so creamy. I love it. So yeah, you'll have to let me know if you guys have tried any of these products before. What has your experience been? Are you guys enjoying reaching for old things? And yeah, that's it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.